Howdy and a big welcome back to Yaks the Game, everybody, as once more we are going to pick up our Toronto Blue Jays franchise mode here in MLB 15, the show. So, as you know, last time around we lost that one nothing nail-biter to the Baltimore Orioles. We were player-locked, as Kevin Pillar couldn't really get anything done, you know how it goes, sometimes it sucks. So here we go, 39-30, and 30. we lead the division by two and a half games, okay. And our lineups are just excelling. There's Devin Travis with 10 home runs at the top of the lineup. Josh Donaldson at a 317 average. Encarnacion with 17. Bautista's raised his average back up to 288. Tulowitzki 259 but 12 homers and 49 RBI. Deanna Navarro 305. And Russell Martin 10 home runs and 295. Pilar, as I said, he was doing awesome. We player lock didn't really get much done. But he has 8 home runs and 23 RBIs. And Michael Saunders, the guy you least expect because he's not playing every day, 286 home runs, 19 RBI, he's killing it. Chris Colabello, not really, but, you know, that's what you expect out of your bench. So I reworked the rotation a little bit. Marco Estrada is now the number two pitcher. And you have Burley Dickey, who just got boosts because they've been deteriorating too quickly, whereas they're still elite-level players in the real world, and we want to keep that somewhat real-world value to them I guess and Drew Hutchison is starter number five so here we go let's jump ahead and simulate to the games against Detroit alright so we'll simulate past the Boston series and there's a couple of losses John Birdie will auto utilize yes and the Fisher Cats will demote somebody here uh, do 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 let's see here 40 man Ross er, there we go and you know what? We will demote Newman. There we go. To Class A, we're good to go. So let's keep jumping ahead. We won that game against Tampa. And let's go ahead and lose another one. And we're really on a couple of uh, win-loss streaks here. And there we go. That's what I'm talking about. We'll auto-utilize Marco Estrada, who will be making the start against Detroit. And it is 47-34 and 34 for the Blue Jays. Six games ahead. And it looks like Estrada is 78 overall. Burley's down to 74 again, and so is Dickey down to 73. Really falling off the bandwagon really fast here. And it looks like Roberto Osuna at 79 overall has 26 saves on the air. Kid's doing great. Here we go. Aaron Sanchez soaping up some eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to hear all about our prospects at a later date. So let's jump ahead and get into our game against Detroit here. Yep. Play a game. Okay. First in the AL, I like that. And we will player lock as Mr. Edwin Incarnacion. Or should we... You know what, let's do Deonor Navarro. We haven't done Navarro in a while. So yeah, let's do Navarro. And we'll go ahead. He is the DH anyways. And it looks like Detroit just acquired Adam Wainwright from the St. Louis Cardinals. He was down in single A. Of course, he is actually injured, if I'm not mistaken, in real life. That's why the game would have placed him in single A to begin the season. So obviously they traded Wayne right away before he deteriorated down there. So Marco Estrada going against Adam Wainwright for the first time this year. Estrada's got 105 innings on the books. He's been doing pretty good as our number two starter. And we will test that today as Devin Travis grounds out and the Detroit Tigers take a 1-0 lead in the bottom half of the first inning. Here we go, Adam Wainwright pitching here. And that'll be a sinker low, but called a strike. Does he have a four-seam fastball we can look for? That's option number square. And Navarro falls this one off. Took a good, healthy hack at it. Just a little bit late, made that decision. Just split second too late. And really hampered that swing. So there we go, curveball. Usually we'd be swinging at that. But just walked the break out of the pitcher's hand there, and holy. And this is going to be drilled into the gap. Navarro going for a stroll here. He's going to have a hard time trying to make it to second. But he'll make it there just in time as the throw goes over to third, in fact. And that will be Navarro's double. And the Blue Jays are, what did I say, nine back of... Lead. Four doubles in the MLB. So here we go. Fast forward here. Navarro's going to not get knocked home. 
And the Blue Jays tied up one run, three hits apiece. And Navarro gets his second up bat of the game against Wainwright. And he's going to drill this one into the gap. But it'll only be down for a single. So hold up here. Navarro's got a single and a double to start the game. Uh, better not get a home run in the next at bat or we're looking for a triple. It looks like Russell Martin gets aboard. So Kevin Pillar has an early opportunity for a good RBI here. And he's going to move the runners over but ground into a double play it looks like. And Navarro now trailing 3-1. In the bottom half, or top half of the seventh, comes up to the plate against Wainwright. He's going to check his swing, and he's going to go around on that one. Where was that? That was low, but still called a strike on him. So here we go. Can he get anything here? Oh, that sinker way in the ground. We're not even looking down there. Man, anything below the knees, we cannot be swinging at in this at bat. I think we may have just swung at something below the knees. Navarro aboard for the third time today with another single. So the uh, cycle watch is almost over unless we can tie it up. But here we go. In steps Russell Martin and we're going to fast forward. Martin doubles home Keanu Navarro. So 4-3 in the top half of the eighth inning. Troy Tulowitzki is on base at second. Navarro can widen this gap. Can he do it here? He's got a foul off, a good fastball there. He should have been able to rip that one away. Good and gone. Had he gotten solid contact on that. And that changeup is called a strike there on the very outer edge. Those are the ones I hate the most. But Navarro is now in a quick 0-2 count. He's going to ground this one to the third baseman. And he'll fire over to first base, and that will end the inning. So Navarro retired for the first time today. Steve Delamar on the pitch, and we'll get him to ground out. And it looks like Roberto Osuna comes in and shuts the door. Edwin Encarnacion had a great game offensively with that home run and RBI. It looks like we had Travis, Encarnacion, Bautista, and Martin all with RBIs in this one. Good to go. And Martin, Kulwitzki, and Navarro had doubles. Bautista had a home run, so that's his ninth homer of the year. Devin Travis had an RBI, like I said. Pilar grounded into a double play. Caught stealing was Travis. And it looks like Aaron Loop got the win after two innings. Steve Delabar got a hold. And Roberto Osuna got his 27th save of the year. He ha ha. This team is coming together now. So guys, I'd like to thank you for tuning in to this edition of the Toronto Blue Jays Franchise Mode. As always, if you're new to the series, please feel free to subscribe. We'll catch you in the next one. So long from Yak City.